Charlie Cook's favorite book. Once upon a time, there was a boy. Cake? For them. Mm. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cozy chair to read his favorite book. About a leaky pirate ship. Uh, a rip. About a leaky pirate ship that very nearly sank. And a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the... Blank. A blue macaw. The chief... Another blue macaw and another blue macaw. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and in it was a... About a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, Who's had our porridge? Who's been sitting in our... Chair. They went into the bedroom and baby bear said, Look... She's in my bed, and what is more, she's got my favorite. About Sir Piercy Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight. Who told the dragon, wait, I'm not ready for a... Bye. You must hear this one first, and then his armor clanked and shook. As he read aloud a joke, he found inside his favorite. About Rowena Reddit, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a... Then jumped him to a library that stood beside the brook and went read it, read it, read it as she jumped upon a book. About an oak tree full of birds, each bird had built a nest. And they had a competition to decide what one was the best. They chose an owl to judge it and the winner was a rook whose nest was lined with pages from his favorite book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky some small green men were in it, and they waved as they flew. Bye. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, Mom, what I've just seen. But Mom said, Hush, I'm trying to read. My favorite magazine. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep which slowed his car, right? Down. The king got on his phone, and soon the cops had cut the crook and flung him into prison. They read his favorite book. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try to find some other kind of fish. He went into a bookshop and he there grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took all the about a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on. To read her favorite. About a cozy armchair and a boy called Charlie. Cut. <laughs> do you want to do the rhymes again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Room on the broom. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and a long ginger hair and a braid down her. But. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly. It blew off the hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat. Be then I'm going to that cauldron. Yeah, was, yeah, she gives it to the dog to hold. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her, hey. I am a dog as keen as can be. Is the room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and... They were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail in the stormy wind. Blue. They, she said, but the one in the cauldron, which he um, wants to hold on to her belt. Yeah. The witch, the witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from the braid, just like that. Down cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow. But no bow. Then out of the trees with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. 
Then said as the witch tied her braid in a... Wow. I'm a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a... Dog like frog. Um, I mean broom. Me? She put the wand in the cauldron. Yep. Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and... They were not. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with Why is glee. Why the witch sad? Because it's raining and she keeps dropping all of her stuff. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her. What? Down cried the witch and they flew she, to the ground. She, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said. Hold on to her hat again. They searched for the wand. No wand can back. Then all of a sudden, <coughs> from out of the pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet. Wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her. Croak. I'm a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the room for a... Froggy like me. Yes, said the witch. So this frog bounded on it, which tapped the broomstick in. Most day we got... Uh, nobody else would be on my broom. <clears throat> There's room on the broom, but I don't know if it's sturdy enough. Nope. She dropped her wand again. She dropped everything. Yeah. The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down but they the went. the hat and the bow stayed on. Tumbling into a... Bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I'm a dragon as mean as can be, and a witch with french fries tastes delicious, dummy. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after, breathing out. Fire. Help. Who else has um, yellow eyes? Ruffalo? Um, no, he has orange eyes. I don't know. What do you see if their friends have eyes? No. Help! cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be. There's the bow the dog found. Yep. The dragon drew near with glint in his eyes and said, Just this once, I'll have witch without. French fry. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog, and down the cat jumped the cat, and foo! Said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be that dragon's... Inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, and throw something. And... So the frog found a... Lily. The cat found a... Toad. The bird found a... Twig. Dog found a... Bow. They threw them all in and stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a... Spell. Ziggy, 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 zoom. Then out rose a horrible, magnificent brow. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog. A I nest guess for the bird. She put the broom in. Yep. And a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped a broomstick and. Wish they were gone. There's room, on, room for the. Oh, well, right Ooh. in front of the cat. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh.